Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady for you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Happy, terrific Thursday to each and every one of you guys. I'm having a great day. Listen, wanted to do a really, really quick haul. But before we do the quick haul, I wanted to give you guys some tips and hacks to help you when you are shopping at Dollar General, okay? I know a lot of you are having issues with Dollar General shopping, a lot of you have never found penny items. You find it really hard to find penny items. A lot of you are saying you're having problems finding items that are on sale, okay? So let me start off for those of you that are new to let you know that not only Dollar General, but mainly Dollar General, when you go into a store, if you are following me, if you're following other couponers or clearance shoppers on YouTube, Facebook, or wherever, they will let you know about certain things that are on clearance, certain things that are on sale, right? Mind you, all stores are not the same, okay? There was a time every single store was the same when you're dealing with chain stores, okay? Dollar General are chain stores. Family Dollar, chain stores, okay? Walmart, chain stores. But now, different stores have different prices, okay? But when it comes to... Let me let you know this. There's a difference in clearance and there's a difference in sales, okay? Clearance and sales are two different things, okay? Clearance means that an item is marking down and it will continue to mark down and eventually, we're talking about Dollar General now, It clearance means that it's marking down and it will continue to mark down and mark down, okay? And eventually it will penny out, which means that the employees are supposed to take the item off the sale, off the floor. Sales floor is no longer in season, is either outdated or out of season, okay? And they're supposed to take those items off the shelves. Well, you and I both know some employees don't do their job. Then some employees just don't have, or some stores don't have enough employees to do what needs to be done beyond the normal cashier um type of work at the job so a lot of the extra stuff does not get done which is a great thing for gift basket designers clearance shoppers people like you and i okay so clearance once again we're going to recap real quick clearance means that the item goes on sale and it can the item goes on clearance and it continues to go down gradually in price okay You'll see some stores, things will start off at 25%, then they'll go to 50, then they'll go to 75, and then eventually they're no longer on the sales floor, okay? It just depends on the store, how they do the different increments, and how often they start to mark the things down, okay? Now, sales items. Sales are like, let's say you go in the store and today Frito-Lay's potato chips are on sale two for six dollars, right? But then you go back next week and they are regular price, $3.49 a bag, however much they are. I don't know. I haven't bought chips in years. Um, however much they normally cost, they're now back to their normal cost. That is a sale. Clearance means that it is a seasonal item or a item that they will no longer carry. So they're marking it down so that it eventually will exit out of their system, okay? So do understand those two differences when you hear um, these things mentioned in um, on channels, okay? Well, I will say season channels that know really a lot because let's just be honest, there are a lot of people out here talking about sales and clearance that are really not that familiar with it. And I mean, there's no, you know, no negative um, thoughts or anything towards anybody, but just some people just don't know so a lot of people are giving out information that may be true and may not be true, or it may be true at some point, but then we later find out that it's not, okay? Because as um, some time back, I would always say um, all Dollar Generals are the same because they were up until one point. But it seems like when the, um, when the pandemic came, it started to change stuff, not only the supply and demand, in the stores, but it also started to change different things in the system, okay? And then some stores started to get new systems. So one store may be operating under the old system and another store may be operating in the new system, okay? So there is the di difference in the stores, all right? So it's not that people are willingly giving out 
false information or information that's not true. Sometimes things just change, okay? Also, if you are new to clearance shopping, just because you go into a store and it does not say 50% off or 25% off does not mean that it's not on sale, okay? It does not mean. It just means they have not put the sign up, okay? Um, so don't ever go into a store because I get this all the time on the channel. Well, in my city, it won't on sale. Um, in my city, um, it was a marking down. Okay, so it, let's just use for an example um, summer stuff, okay, which we know we're, we're coming into summer now. But let's just say we were at the end of the summer, okay? There's no way possible that Dollar General or Walmart or anybody don't have... There's no way that they have summer items and they're not marking down. These stores have to get rid of seasonal items, okay? So I'm not going to buy the fact that it may not be as marked down as it is in another city or state, but it's starting to mark down, okay? And if it hasn't started to mark down, all you got to do is watch it. It eventually will, okay? But when... Um, Christmas time come, they not going to still have swimming pools and, um, bubbles and chalk and stuff like that in the store. They shouldn't. Okay. They're not supposed to, they may, because it may not be anybody to do their job, but for the most part, you're not going to go in during December and find a swimming pool at Dollar General because all of that stuff will mark down, which normally they don't mark the swimming pools down. I'm just using that as a symbolism for something that you will find in the store during summertime, okay? So I hope this is helping you guys. The best number one thing to do is always download the apps, okay? Whether you're in Dollar General, I get this question as well. What app am I supposed to download? If you're in Dollar General, Dollar General app. If you're in Walmart, the Walmart app, the official app for that store, okay? Not all stores have a scanning um, device on their app, but most of the time, Walmart, Dollar General stores like that have a scanning app so that you can scan the item to see how much it costs, okay? So you're not going to be able to get around that unless you want to take your happy hips to the cash register. Every time you find an item and say, hey, can you scan this? Can you scan this? That is outdated, y'all. Go ahead and download the apps on your phone so that you can scan the items yourself. And get this, sometimes you can scan an item and it'll say one thing and you take it to the register and it says another. 99% of the time, they are gonna honor what it says at the register, okay? So just be mindful of that as well. If you go, if you watch somebody and they like, um, well, Dollar General got puzzles for 10 cent, but when you, scan yours, it say a dollar. Just take it to the register to see if in fact it really is a dollar or is it 10 cent and there could just be a mix up in the app, okay? We're seeing new things we've never seen before with these apps and different things. Keep in mind, y'all, all of this stuff is computer generated stuff, okay? So it's issues in the system. Yes, it's humans is putting it in. So there may be a little mishap or at one store that's not at another just take it to the register and let them scan it, okay? Long story short, just do that, and then you won't have to worry about it, okay? <clears throat> so, if you download the apps, it will help you um, without all the confusion, okay? And that way you won't think um, just because there's not a sign. And the other thing, number one, like I just said, don't go by signs or the lack of there not being a sign. Don't go by that, all right? Also, don't go by what cashiers tell you, okay? At the end of the day, they have to honor, unless you find a manager that's just nice enough to override something, they have to go with, when they scan the item, what it is, okay? But do not go into a store and ask a cashier, hey, do y'all got um, yellow dot toys on sale for 90% off? They don't know. 99% of these people in these stores, baby, they just got a job. Some of them. Some of them have had it for years and they don't know no more about the store than you know about it. Don't go in and ask. That's why you have your app to scan and it'll take away all of the questions, okay? 
because they don't know. You know, some people just don't know. Some people just don't care. They'll tell you anything. They just there to get a paycheck, most of them. They're not there to be a help or an assistance to you, okay? So, with that being said, Dollar General toys are 90% off. You see this Monopoly game? I paid $2 for this $20 Monopoly game, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, but there will be a part two to this video. I'm going to show you guys some toys that you may have not seen um, or maybe have not found or didn't know um, that were on sale. I'm going to show you guys those items. You know, I did a, whole, a haul a couple days ago, a toy haul. These are some new toys that I found yesterday. Some of them are some that I've already shown, but some of them are not. So I promise you, you will want to tune in to this next video. Also, I will be mentioning the clearance event that will be starting tomorrow at Dollar General. So make sure once you watch this video that you hop over to part two to get the conclusion, all right? I hope this video has been beneficial to you guys. I hope it has helped you for those of you that are not that familiar with clearance shopping, with things going on sale. I hope it has been a help to you. No, I'm not an expert with this, but I do want to consider myself an expert. I'm not a know-it-all, but I do want to consider myself somewhat of an expert. I've been doing this for over 20 years, y'all. I've been clearance shopping for over 20 years. I've been dollar general shopping for over 20 years, okay? And I'm not just talking about going in there, picking up tissue and paper towels. I mean, in the mud shopping at Dollar General, okay? So I know a lot um, that there is to be known for Dollar General. I call myself a Dollar General queen, okay? So anyway, I hope what I did offer has been a benefit to you guys, all right? That will help you get some penny items. We'll talk about that on the next video as well. Hopefully I don't forget. Um, help you find some items that are on sale, that are on clearance. Hopefully I have helped you guys with that, okay? Anyway, guys, get your money, honey, and fill your bag until the next video. Bye, y'all.